You must have seen this phenomenon many times in your kitchen, without paying it much attention. It's got beautiful physics in it, though. When water is running vertically into the center of a flat disk, spreading all round its surface, a thin layer with a round boundary is formed around the spot where the water current touches the disk. Beyond the boundary, the water level rises sharply and water is slowly flowing off the disk. This boundary between the inner and the outer areas is called the hydraulic jump. But what causes this incredible phenomenon? The hydraulic jump in itself is like a wave which is trying to move from the edges to the center of a disk. Nevertheless, the wave gets moved to the edge of the disk due to the current flow, which spreads out from the center. The current speed is greater in the center than near the edges because of viscous friction on the disk. If the jump moved closer to the center, the current would push it back to the edges. If the current pushed it too far from the center, it would move back due to its wave motion. So we can conclude that the jump occupies the place where its speed equals the speed of the current. The area within the jump is called supercritical. Here the speed of the current is greater than that of the wave. The area outside the jump is called precritical. Here the push-off speed of the current is less than that of the wave moving towards the center. By the way, Leonardo da Vinci was the first to observe this phenomenon. He found it interesting to study how water may flow in different conditions. But there is still no full quantitative description of this phenomenon. To demonstrate supercritical property of the inner area, let us put a small obstacle in the current's way. The waves which appear at the obstacle cannot get inside to the center of the circle. They get pushed to the edges and they create a characteristic wedge, which is known in acoustics as Mach cone. But in acoustics we talk about supersonic movement, while here the speed of sound's roll is performed by the wave speed on the surface of shallow water. When the rays fluctuation is pushed off to a certain distance along the flow, it spreads along the surface of the water in all directions to a shorter distance. Afterwards, the radius of the wave circle increases proportionally to the distance covered. So all the circles get inscribed in one angle with a vertex at the obstacle point. This was the angle we observed in our experiment. The hydraulic jump may form when water gets pumped into the river mouth, while the stream is trying to push it back into the sea. The tidal wave that appears as a result is called a bore. It rises up the river stream, as the wave speed turns out to be greater than that of the stream.